Apparently, scientists have found a way to use honeybees to detect dangerous explosives and other substances. Honeybees have a really advanced sense of smell, so they've found a way to leverage that. They carefully extract honeybees from their hive using this vacuum-like machine. And once they're brought to the lab, they are chilled for a while, so their activity slows down a bit, which makes it safer to handle them. They are then carefully placed into these containers, which do look a little claustrophobic. But the bees seem responsive, so maybe it's fine for a short time. The bees are then exposed to a specific chemical vapor for 6 seconds and then fed sugar water at the end as a reward. This process is repeated a few times over the next few hours and the bees will automatically start responding by sticking out their tongue every time they detect that chemical vapor. You can see that these tongues extend pretty far out so it's quite easy to detect that. And that is the key for this detection. The most responsive bees are loaded onto a cartridge or a cassette and then they are put on this device. It's kind of like a gentle vacuum that sucks in air which when you take near a bag or a car or something, it hopefully extracts the chemical vapors as well, which the bees can detect. And once they detect, they stretch out their tongues because they have been trained to expect sugar water. And this tongue extension can be detected using any number of methods. The earlier versions had a camera that would literally show their tongues, but then they built these IR sensors that will light up a pixel on this dashboard that you see, so they can use that. Every time a bee extends its tongue, that pixel turns red, which means that particular cassette, whichever substance it was trained for, has been detected. And that's another advantage. Since each of these bees can be trained to detect a separate chemical compound, individual cassettes can be programmed to detect multiple substances at the same time. Compared to using dogs, this bee system has a few advantages. Training dogs can take several months at a time, but like we discussed, these bees can be trained within a few hours. Acquiring them and maintaining them is pretty easy and cheap too. And after a few days, these bees are released back into their colony. And then they'll collect new ones to repeat the process. Now it all sounds good in paper, but this research has been going on for almost two decades now. I wonder why we still see sniffer dogs instead of bee-powered cages everywhere. One reason could be the short lifespan of bees. You know, an average bee may only last about two months and they only keep them around for a few days. So even though training is faster, this may be considered less humane than having a companion dog, right? Once a dog has been trained, it will serve you for years together and will be a reliable companion. Whereas a bee is just stretching out its tongue expecting some sugar reward, that's all. Aside from detecting those chemical vapors, it doesn't really have much of a use. Plus, there's an argument to be made that this is, again, inhuman for bees which are already sort of endangered. But then again, the endangered species is the wild bees and they are using honeybees. Again, it's a grey area. But it's interesting, I mean, the bees can do a lot of things. Like, they have found a way to use bees to detect landmines as well. Like, they fly drones to see where the bees are hovering and that's usually where landmines are located. That's obviously a great way to clear out a minefield with minimal damage. Anyway, what do you think of these explosive detection bees? Do you think we should do more research on this or should we just stick to dogs? Let me know.